Mustafa Gajibo is a school dropout from the University of Meduguri. The 29 years old owns a small factory that's into designing and building vehicles. Beside the young innovator's passion converting wheels to generating sets for the past three years, he says reducing economic hardships and fuel hikes inspired his work. At this time in Nigeria, we have uh, a lot of uh, problem of uh, fuel going up. Uh, and then in turn, uh, you know, prices of uh, transportation will also go up. So much drought, most especially in this part of the world, Nigeria, we are facing so much drought. Uh, food security is being threatened. So uh, we have to find solutions. A fabricated vehicle after charged for 35 minutes can operate at a range of 150 kilometers. The factory has employed 12 staff and it has a production capacity of 20 vehicles monthly. He plans to push up his target to 4,500, but he needs support. Very well, we need support from we need support from the government, uh, most especially in terms of policy, in terms of uh, funding. Uh, for example, now uh, you can see uh, there are so many parts of this vehicle that we import them from abroad. So uh, we need a policy, a good policy, where we can have access to foreign exchange at the official rate so as to bring down the cost of our production. Put even zero duty on any parts that you're going to import if you're going to use, if you're going to use this part for production of electric vehicles. So with these little policy, uh, policies and uh, also funding from the government and from the private sectors, we will surely uh, upscale our production. Governments across the world are also looking to reduce carbon emissions, air pollutants that contribute to health problems, and electric cars will play a big role in helping fuel economy and lower fuel costs. This innovation can also be an alternative for Nigeria to escape fuel crisis.